What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. All right guys, topic at hand today. I want to talk about So, shout first off, shout out to my boy Hayes who brought this out. He and I had a discussion this morning, so this is why I'm making a, a, a video counter kind of countering to his. I'll put his video in the in the description below. He has a concern that the banners are coming out too quick, like they're too frequent. And I I had a counter argument. So, I want to kind of give my counter argument to you guys and talk about why it doesn't really matter if these banners are coming out too quick, except for one reason. There's one reason why it does make a difference, but outside of that one reason, the weapon part doesn't really bother me. And, I, and I'm going to break it down to you guys real quick. My first thing is, let's talk about Murasame. Okay, when it came out, nobody knew what was going to happen when the featured event left, right? Now, as we know, if you go to the wish list, it does reside here within the wishlist settings and you can choose it. I no longer have chosen it because I maxed it out already, plus two as a matter of fact. If you haven't seen my summon video, go check it out where I pull six five stars in one summon. Absolutely nuts. Um, but back to the point here, this is a good sign. This means that any future feature banners will be available to put on the wishlist. So you'll never really have to worry about missing out on a specific weapon at the moment. That may change, right? And if that does change, then this whole this whole thing goes out the window. Now, the reason why I think it's not in feature two, right? Because if you go here, you can see the Murasami, as a matter of fact, is not in here. It's because I believe that this was happening almost in parallel with the Murasami banner. So because it's considered the same like time banner, it doesn't feature it. Well, this one came after the fact, so it does have the Murasami in it. So I don't think it's it's a bad thing to have to wait. Because if you if you watch my summon video, of course it was crazy luck, but I actually pulled more more Murasames in that video than I did the Maritime Swords. And Maritime Sword is the actual featured banner. So it's not I don't think it's a concern necessarily for a lot of people about the actual pulls because you can put it on your wish list and the wish list actually does function fairly well. For me, it has so far functioned really well. Some people have complained about it and said it's not doing what it's supposed to do. But for me personally, it's exact. It's done exactly what it needs to do. All my weapons on my actual wish list have been summoned on and are I'm, I'm, I'm getting them. So to me, it's, it's functioning as it's meant to. Now, where I think the issue lies is not necessarily with the weapon, but in fact, it's going to be with the, the stamp system, right? And because the stamp system requires you to also have RNG to get yourself guaranteed weapons, items, and more importantly, the garb, so like the actual outfits, the skins, which give you additional stats, that's where it becomes a little concerning and that's where free-to-play have to be a little bit more focused on what they want to put their crystals towards, right? So if you're not fighting Ramal, for example, you're not going to want to go for this water weapon or the garb that's associated with it, right? At the moment, at least, right? So Square isn't necessarily targeting free-to-play players here with these, with these releases because they know you can get these in the future. Like, they're going to make that possible. What they're targeting are whales, clearly, like myself and other players who are looking to collect what they can. I say the word collect really loosely. It's all pixels. We give them back. We lose our money. For me, you guys already heard my whole spiel about spend responsibly, and I still stand by that. For me, this is spending responsibly because it's, again, a tax thing for me. But for other players, it's to let you know, like, listen, this is out now. If you really want it, go for it. But it will eventually be in the wishlist. Now, the only caveat to this whole video is the fact that I don't know what happens with event weapons. So, like, for example, the Sun Umbrella, the Maritime Sailor, or sword, I should say, lifeguard wraps and seaside collar, because they're part of this watermelon tonberry event. When that event ends and on the 28th it's gone, will they actually appear in the wish list? That's the only thing I don't know, right? Because if you read the actual odds and verbiage behind how summons work, they give you a very detailed description of how to expect everything to function, right? They tell you right here how the wish list works, how things occur, etc. If you read the attention part, it's actually very detailed. You guys should read this one day. The period may change without notice. A draw may yield duplicate weapons, as two of the same weapon cannot be held. Any duplicates are, are placed in the armory, so people don't know this sometimes that are brand new. When a stamp is placed with a, t a draw 10 on a square, that allows rewards to be selected. The 10th slot in the draw 10 will yield the weapon selected in that square, so you can select your weapon in your 10th square. 
If a draw yields a higher rarity, the weapon, it automatically replaces the current held weapon. The weapon's lower rarity, rarity becomes, if you auto-convert obviously, will be placed in the armory or will become blueprints. Connectivity issues may result in a skipped or faulty draw animation, but does not affect the outcome of the draw. Please check the weapon list for confirmation. So I know a lot of people are complaining about the game crashing when they're summoning. Well, don't worry. Your summon is instantly already in the game's uh, system the moment you press the summon button. The rest is just all, all animations and, and little things to keep you distracted, okay? So it'll be right in your inventory. If both red and blue crystals are held, blue crystals will be used first. Each draw is based on probability. Specific weapons are not guaranteed from a fixed number of draws. Display a probability for each weapon, blah, 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 right? The reason why I'm reading this to you guys, the reason why I'm reading this to you is because it doesn't mention, I'm gonna go down this as well. It doesn't mention anything regarding if the weapon will be available later on. See the same verbiage as the last one. So you, 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 we don't know. We have no idea if these event weapons and that's what's gonna really tell us how this is gonna work for events specifically, right? Now, like I said, the outfits and skins are the problem. Now I think what Square should do if they're smart about it and they wanna make us a little bit happier is in the exchange section of the shop. Let me go back, sorry. Go to the shop here. Where's the shop? Shop, right here. In the exchange section, right? If you go to exchange right here and you click on gear, they should put them in here afterwards, right? Like, look, the Murasame should have, the garb should be in here. You should eventually be able to trade for it using a token that you can buy for $2.99 or get from the battle pass or another way they can just give out give them out every month or something or every two months or every three months whatever the case may be the the skin should be here so i think that's really the biggest problem i don't think the weapons not being some like the banners coming out with weapons is a big issue because again if they put them in the wish list who cares you can just summon for them later right and you still have a good probability of getting the wish list ones but the actual stamps and the the skins is where i think they really get you so I don't know what you guys think about that or how you feel about that, but that's my take on it. I think the outfits should be in here personally, and you should be able to get them after the featured banner is done. But I'm not sure if that's the best solution. In my opinion, that's the only solution that I can think of at the moment that makes any sense regards to any outfits we miss along the way. All right, guys, Payne, let me know what you think in the, in the, in the comment section. I'm curious if you guys think they're coming out too fast or if, I, if you think I'm out to, like, out, out to lunch here or if I'm, I'm off base, but I think if they keep adding weapons to wishlist, why not? Why not? Like, who cares in terms of how, how fast they come out? This is actually not a bad thing because also that means you're going to get through the weapons you want and get to the ones you, you, sorry, go through the weapons you don't want and get to the ones you want faster. So giving you the opportunity to finally be able to summon on something rather than just save nonstop. Um, we'll see what happens after the event, guys. If it does get added into the wishlist, like these four weapons, then I think we're, we're golden. Who cares what they come out with? I, I think it's just... Fix the garbs, fix the, fix the outfits, fix the gear exchange and put them in here and let's let's make these more readily available to players. And I think that pretty much will solve the main problem. All right, guys, this is Payne. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.